So it's been three years nearly since I moved here, so I thought I'd do an update on Love Cart Ranch, the property, and um, show you guys around and what's been happening. Um, and yeah, all the developments and stuff like that. So let's go and have a look and see what a blind girl can do in three years. Um, if you've already seen it, I'll try and put a link in the description, but I can't guarantee anything for the last video I did what a blind girl can do in a year. So now we're on to three years. I did intend on doing one in the two year mark, but just didn't happen. So anyway, we will go and have a look at what's going on. I'm standing in almost the same spot as I was last time. Um, and now this is turning into a food forest. So um, I've been blessed with lots and lots of wood chips and some hay that went off that the horses couldn't eat and all that sort of stuff for mulch. And it's going pretty well this is its third year so a lot of stuff still pretty small but definitely growing we did get um, two pears this spring um, and quite a few mulberries and tomatoes out of here um, I planted two more apple trees down the back there I've got the two pineapple guavas in um, a zappadilla tree uh, a lemon tree which is still struggling but it's getting there it doesn't really like it cold a citrus doesn't um, and yeah lots of other species a couple of herbs in the herb layer now so that's pretty exciting this is a very hard climate with very hard um, soil it's a rock rock and sand sandy loam type stuff um, a little bit of clay in there as well so it is uh, a slow process around here everything's going dormant you can see the pear tree has really shot up um, it needs a prune but I'm not going to do that until July because the saying is if you prune in June you prune too soon so um, then we've got some mulberries over here and over there everything's dormant so it's a little bit hard to see but um, old Shawnee is buried there and Penny's buried under the pear tree because she loved pears so we put a pear tree in there apple trees over the back there and um, the uh, pineapple guavas are down there so we've actually put a path in Bradley's been busy on the excavator and so forth putting paths in he's cut a lot of the grass back over there you won't be able to see it but I'll just talk about it anyway is the um, thornless blackberries and a loganberry Oh no, sorry, that's a young berry over there. The Logan berries are over here. We've also got a Gumby Gumby tree, which is actually growing quite nicely. Um, seems to like the terrible soils. And a few loosened trees as well, scattered throughout the place to um, help with nitrogen fixing. We've got over the back there is uh, some fig trees and some pecan nut trees and some rosemary over there I've got mugwort in here too behind this tree we've got a Cape gooseberry and we've actually got some spinach that's really doing nicely it's really really green at the moment if we come around here this is a bed that's being made at the moment it'll have some annuals in it in spring like capsicums and and uh, tomatoes so over here if I can get a nice shot of it we've got strawberries in the back there spinach in the front the Cape gooseberry's gone to sleep for now it will wake up in spring um, so yeah looking forward to getting some berries off here this season coming it's already thrown out runners and started to spread around the strawberries so that's a good sign I'll show you this neat little trick I've got a uh, snow pea and it's going to grow up the mulberry tree just like a neat little thing i was doing the mugworts in this area too we've got elderberries down there but some of them aren't doing too well because of the cold and we've had such dry weather i'm hoping they'll come back but who knows and a pomegranate in there as well so quite a diverse range of plants in this garden and more to come i've actually got some bare root plants coming so that's exciting. I just love growing things and harvesting my food and eating stuff straight off the land. 
Here we have CC and Willow's patch. Willow's over the back and CC's buried down the front here. Um, I've got trees for them. I'm just waiting for spring for CC's tree because it's a little bit frost sensitive when it's young. Um, but it should be ready this season. I think it's quite um, well established now in a pot. So it should be ready to go out. And um, I've got a tree on order for Willow, a persimmon tree. So I'm sure her owner will be happy about that. And this plot's just sort of getting ready and um, getting some life into the soil. I can actually feel under my feet the soil softening, standing quite close to this patch. So it's a mixture of uh, wood chips and hay and horse manure and chicken manure. We actually had horses out the back here. We've actually taken down the fence. We needed to use it somewhere else. Um, and we're just letting the grass grow through winter. And then we'll refence hopefully by spring and they can go back out there and graze. But you can see that there's still some grass there. It's pretty much all love grass crap, but you know, they'll eat it. And um, yeah, we've uh, covered over the dam as well because it wasn't holding any water anyway. So we thought we would do that. And there's some steel posts in ready to be fenced off. There's a gate going in here. Eventually this will all be fenced up along the pathway here um, but for now we're just going to fence this in and um, yeah so that's that fence um, we put some mesh on it to make it very very difficult almost impossible for horses to escape and the goat when we had her here I've since taken her out to a farm um, because she was getting a bit funny when I was handling foals and things and it was just better for her to be with other goats so she's gone out to a goat property and um, yeah, but we've still got the fencing here um, for minis and things like that and foals so they bounce off it rather than getting caught up in it um, and if they do get caught up in it, it doesn't tend to break like a normal wire fence I find there's people are going to disagree and go me 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 but that's my opinion and my experience so that's so what I've done the main paddock now that's finished and we've actually got a gate on here thanks to Bradley and some posts ready to be fenced off and finished and meshed um, so that's the paddock that we were just walking from this is now the front of the paddock so there's a bit of progress and you can hear Shandy over there in the round yard the round yard's still got to move um, we just need some more fill to move that um, back a lot more so I'll have more room out this way and eventually put a shed in there and wash bays and crush and all that sort of thing um yeah so that it's all um got the facilities and so forth for the horses oh and also the water is now um tank water we're no longer allowed to use town water to water stock so um we've hooked up the the taps to the tank well, Bradley did with the excavator, dug um, trenches and put the pipe in and hooked it all up so it's all working really well and the horses seem to like it as well. And there's the two cheeky buggers in there. We've got Caddo and Rosie in the in the big paddock and Shandy's paddock's actually being made finished off today so she can't get out of it because minis are notorious for escaping. Chicken pen! The chickens are pretty happy in there, it's nice and large for them to run around and they still get fed their scraps and everything, they don't destroy my garden anymore so very happy about that. He's been busy working on this fence around the back of the shed that's part of Shandy's paddock, they're now working on the other bit of Shandy's paddock and, um, and then hopefully this afternoon she can go in it and they'll have a nice big area to run around for a little while until weaning time for patches I'm just walking around videoing the property and patches is laying down oh, she's just gotten up but she was laying down having a big sleep um for those of you who don't know horses yes they do lay down to sleep as well as stand up and sleep um but foals tend to lay down a lot more just because they're growing and they need a lot more proper sleep so um you know, don't panic if you see a horse laying down when you're driving past or whatever. It's probably just having a sleep. It's not dead or sick. If it's rolling around it might be, but usually if they're laying down like that they're just having a rest. So 
So, yep, mum and daughter here. And Patches is now eight months old and ready to wean. We just got to get some a secure paddock for Shandy so that we can do that. Pile of wood chips we've been blessed with. Awesome. Bird cages. Unfortunately, we've got no budgies at the moment because Patches let them out. She leant over this fence here and got to the seed and in the process let the birds out. So um, we've got to fix that up and then replace the budgies. Then we've got the cockatiels in the other cage and um yeah they're doing well hopefully we'll get some babies out of them next spring unfortunately not much was breeding this year because of the uh drought i assume they knew that it wasn't good for breeding so i know that's blurry but there are two cockatiels in there male and female he's standing at the gate wondering what on earth i'm doing <laughs> Hey Nets. Yeah, I thought so. And I've moved into the house instead of the caravan now. So that's a bit of a new thing. I'm gonna flick to the guinea pigs um, and have a bit of fun with them. And that's about it. Um, well, there's the other garden as well, but that was sort of there before. And um, we've got people living in the caravan at the moment, so I didn't want to intrude on them. Guinea babies in the food again. And look, I have a new friend. <laughs> Tyler has a new friend. Yes, considering all the yeah, days she used to growl at me. <laughs> yeah, we're best friends now, aren't we? Daddy, 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 she was playing with Coda before. Yep. So Coda's had oh, yeah. five babies. For the camera, that's Coda. <laughs> <laughs> yep, five babies. And Eight. Batwoman's still pregnant. This one here? Yes. Blinky had three. And Blinky had three. Yeah. And where's Cloud down there? Somewhere? No, that's Lily. No, that's yeah. Lily. Go to your right. Oh, there. Um, yeah. And Cloud had three as well. And then Lily is probably pregnant. Possibly. She is. And then whatever the other yeah, one's name is. One. No yeah, we haven't named that one yet. Fluffball. <laughs> Fluffy, I don't know. What are you calling guinea pig these days? Patch face. Patch face. No. No. No, I'm mine. Yeah, it's mine. I call it what I want. We're not well, whatever it its patches. name is, patches. It should be pregnant, hopefully. Yeah, she is pregnant. And Batwoman definitely is. Yeah. Hello, darling. We're hoping to have a uh, black and white one a w with a white, a black body, white mask, so we can call it Venom. <laughs> And a brown, well, a brown really mask may. as well. She may have it. What would you call that one? Fat woman. <laughs> Fat woman. <laughs> what if it's a guy? Fat man. <laughs> so all the girls had a, well all the guinea pigs had a bath today because we had a bit of a lice problem. So they all got bathed in some treatment so hopefully we have a last problem no more and all the guinea pigs that were grey are now white yeah <laughs> gotta love my running commentary yeah. they were black now oh, whatever well they were kind of grey not quite black the boys are very quiet and Lily's like come on pat me hello Lily Pilly oh now I know why you're sitting on my lap Pippa so you can look at all the guinea pigs yeah. Oh, it's not just because we're friends. No, Pippa wants to eat the guinea pigs. Yeah, well, good luck. Mm. You'll love it, don't you, Pippa? 